And, uh, woo, gosh, all right. Woo. Wow. Oh, the waves are smacking my, my toes. Woo. Bike vlogger here on my lunch ride. Right here. <clears throat> Feels pretty nice out right now. It's uh, like 61 degrees Fahrenheit. Breezy though, gust up to about 29 miles per hour, I was reading. Go back in here. Go behind here, go down the alley. Well, there's a truck there, so we're gonna go this way instead. Always people doing work or chit-chatting. Stop in the middle of the road, even if it is an alley. So, we'll go this way. Woo! It's a lot of leaves. Yikes. Okay, we'll go back this way now. That's why I don't usually go down the alley. Whew. Get out of this craziness, make a left. My destination is the park. That's what I'm trying to get to. All sorts of craziest craziness going on right now. Twenty-two miles per hour. Woo. Okay. Slightly less busy streets. Oh, this is this one street here is oh horrible. Bruno. Maplewood is horrible. Okay. It's a neat old car. We're gonna go all the way north here. Don't want to expend all my energy right now. Take it easy. This is like a 45 minute ride during lunch. Let's make a ride up here. Wow. 
climb this hill. It's a rather steep hill. Okay, make a right here. Yeah, nice day today. It's going to be cold. Coming up in the future here. Okay. Windy, windy, windy today. Make a left here. Someone's can got knocked over. And all the way north here. And we'll make a right. That's one way up here. What street is this? Plateau. I do feel like I plateaued there. Oh. Riding through Dogtown, St. Louis right now. South City area, Southwest. left here. Okay. Down this way. Oh. So yeah, I was uh, reading this story online. It was, uh, I didn't know GoPro. They make uh, action cams. I didn't know it had gone uh, public this June, I guess. Uh, yeah, their share prices have gone through the roof. Climb this way.
I think I'm on Louisville now. I don't know if you can see my shadow. Shoo, 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 shoo. Climbing. Oh. We're on Clayton Avenue now. Make a left here. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> bunch of stuff in the road. Still in Louisville. Almost at the park now. Oh. Maybe we'll take it a little easier when we get into, into the park. Make a right. Now this section up here is a little scary. I'm gonna uh, make a right here. Because of the plastic, it's uh, a little slippery. Gotta go slow. There we go. All right. Oh my gosh. That was a gust. Gust of wind. 18 miles per hour. Oh. Yeah, I brought water with me. I should probably drink it. Ah. Okay. Oh boy. And a bug just hit my face. Ugh. 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 So as I've been saying, I uh had new pedals, Crank Brothers, I switched them back to the Shimano. I got some slightly, very slightly lighter Shimanos coming in the mail. I'm also going to put on some lighter weight uh, tires. Uh, basically just the uh, folding bead type instead of the wire bead and uh, some light tubes. All that should knock, uh, knock some weight off my bike, some more weight, and get me down about as low as I'm gonna be able to get on this bike. That should knock off uh, About a third of a pound, I guess. Which ain't too bad. So I really like these pedals. So why not get the lighter ones? And then I can move these to a, or have these as a backup for my winter bike, which I'm gonna probably be riding tomorrow. Cross bike. Uh, On that bike, I need to, uh, maybe this weekend, I need to put on some uh, 
marathon, Schwabi marathon winter tires. I think they might be Winter Supreme or something. They got a whole bunch of metal studs in them. Should hopefully protect me from uh, falling down when it gets really slippery and icy out. They're very heavy though. I think uh, I think each tire is uh, oh wait let me see the tires themselves weigh at least a couple pounds I know very windy out here sorry about the wind noise uh, yeah <laughs> I can't remember if they each weigh two pounds or if combined they weigh two pounds in any case, it's a lot of weight, and then since you're riding on the studs, uh, it's going to slow me down also. So I have the extra weight, rotational weight, the, and then the extra traction. Uh, so I'll probably be going pretty slow, but I don't really want to be going too fast anyway when it's dangerous out, slippery and whatnot. So. They should be more than enough to protect me from falling. Probably overkill. Some people say just put them on the uh, on the front tire, and if you think you really need it to put on the back tire, uh, then just get in, or just get instead like a hefty, knobby, tready uh, rear tire instead of a studded tire, but. Because you know you sit on their saddle most of the time and all your weight's on that rear wheel and so you'll wear out those tires much quicker and they're not cheap but it's hard to put a price tag on safety especially when you're a bike commuter i haven't ridden in winter so i might be doing overkill but that's okay we'll figure it out we'll slow down there's some kids up here Try not to go too fast when there's other people on the trail, especially kids. Because number one, you don't want to hurt a kid, but <laughs> number two, you don't want to hurt anyone really. Uh, they're unpredictable. Even when the, they see you or whatever, they may, you know, for whatever reason, they may want to come up and talk to you or something. So you got to watch out. You don't want to want to cross paths. So, yeah, like I was saying, talking about the tires, uh, the manufacturer, Schwabli, suggests uh, a breaking in period, which uh, I think this bicycle on my right wants to come over. Or no, he doesn't. Okay. All right. Um, the manufacturer, which is Schwabli, they make all sorts of tires and tubes um, they suggest you ride it for like 25 miles on dry pavement at a slow speed or not a very fast speed and slow acceleration um, so I'm probably gonna do that one of these nights here uh, get the braking in process to work so when uh, when winter actually comes, they'll all be inset into the tire properly, supposedly, and they won't pop out or anything. So I want to make a, make sure I do that before it gets uh, really icy. <clears throat> So, uh, 19 miles per hour, I should probably be slowing down. I was supposed to take this a little easier. Um, that's the thing about single speed. You, uh, the bike sort of sets the pace. Especially once you have momentum, you don't want to lose it. Especially on a single speed.
okay. I wanted to stop, but the guy wanted me to go. That's the thing, over courteous drivers. So then when you have overly anxious drivers, they get all pissed off. Pardon my language. Get all ticked off when, uh, when, uh, you're, uh, not stopping completely at a stop sign because they want to go first, you know, even if they don't get there first at the intersection. Uh. Oh man, just enjoying this weather. It's so nice out right now. So nice. I'm, uh, I'm quite a bit, uh, jealous of people like out west, uh, up along the coast, California and whatnot, they're just, they just have really nice weather near the coast, uh, all year round. But that also means they don't have four real seasons like we do here in the Midwest. So they do miss out on all the fun, like all the snow and all the ice all the cold yeah I'm being a little uh, sarcastic there um, so we're gonna continue this for a bit longer and then we're gonna get off, get out of the park go through a couple neighborhoods through a seminary uh, and then back uh, through Richmond Heights Missouri and Maplewood back to work I'd say we've, uh, I'd say once we get up here to the Missouri History Museum, we've reached our halfway point. Okay. I probably look so goofy with all the wires on me, recording the video and audio. But winter's just about here and I'll have a big old poofy coat on and no one will be the wiser. Oh. I should drink some more water. See when you know when you get thirsty, that means you waited too long uh, to drink more water. Okay. Got the green going here fair bit of people on the trail nice day doesn't surprise me uh, I bet a lot of these people won't be here tomorrow though they won't they won't deal with the cold like I will or the heat. I make it a habit to come here at least every weekday if I can. Not totally swamped at work. It's a great place to come and let off some stress and uh, get some good exercise in. Get you really pumped up. That's what my morning commute does for myself. Uh, 17.5 miles per hour. It, uh, it really wakes me up. I'm not a morning person, so you can just imagine waking up, getting out of bed, especially now that the colder weather is gonna be coming here. Got a nice warm bed and bicycle in really extreme cold or windy or rainy. Freezing rain's the worst. Or really snowy days. We'll see how I manage it. I always have a backup plan, which I do. I have a car. I can drive to work. But then I probably go out for lunch to go for a jog anyway. So, which isn't bad at all, because I love the jog. Don't do it as much anymore, but I do love the jog and it's good cross training. I should do more strength training though, because I uh, don't really do any of that. 
I get some strength training, I guess, my legs on a bike with a single speed. Really pumping those hills, but that's not the good type of training. That's rough on your knees. But it's the style of bicycling I like. Hammering those hills. And, uh, woo, gosh, all right. Woo. That's really cool. Now I got a whole bunch of stuff in my wheel. I'm gonna stop for a second here. Huh. I got a ton of leaves stuck in my wheel. Back wheel too. Hang on a second. Getting all the leaves out of my rims. I probably just keep pedaling and it all come out, but all right. Okay. Couple of bicycles past us there. Okay. Probably would have just come out, but last thing I want is get a bunch of leaf dust in my nose. Be all sneezy. Okay. Missed the light. Woo, here it comes again. Oh, okay. That screeching noise is a leaf stuck in my brake pads. I'm gonna get out here. All good now. Drink some water. Oh. It's windy out here. Not super windy, but you know, it's pretty windy. Okay, here we go. Wide end, wide down now, instead of along adjacent to Washington University. Sort of. Oh wow, they repaved this, nice. Although it's crummy asphalt, it's not concrete, so it's won't last. We'll break up real quick once the snow clouds come by.
Okay. Go up uh, this way. Those gusts are a little crazy. All right, you still there with me? <laughs> okay. been a little while since I've done the lunch ride. Been busy at work. I've been traveling. Nice to be back home. Oh, single speed on the hills. Need to drink some more water again. Ugh. Drink break. <sighs> Nearing the end of my water bottle. It's a little miniature one, I only filled it like halfway. <sighs> okay. means we need to be wrapping up this ride pretty soon. Okay, what the hell heck is this? Let's go real slow here. Okay. All right. Drop. Okay. Bumps. Older concrete road here. Ugh. Yeah, one thing you gotta watch out for in the fall, or just be wary of, is uh, goat heads, or basically large thorns. Eight and a half miles now. Out into the field. Pretty windy. Make a right. trees. Wouldn't want to live right next to that radio tower. Where it is, cause cancer. Living that close to them all the time. Sleeping here and whatnot. Okay. So 
going to stop. I'm gonna hit it. A little bit of a downhill here. Let's see, uh, 18 and a half miles per hour. That leaf tornado was pretty crazy. Whoa, okay. Watch out for those ruts. We go this way. Oh, geez, that's another dangerous sort of a situation I had myself in there. Climb the hill. The wind blowing down on me. Whew. Feels nice out. Not really chilly. As long as I keep moving. Make a right. A lot more construction. That was scary back there where I almost fell down. Okay, did a similar thing on Friday where I uh, almost fell down, it seemed like. Steep hill. Didn't quite expect that. Let's go straight. Woo. I'm a bit tired and sore from last night. Oh, 15 and a half miles per hour. Just taking a little easy here. I'm in Richmond Heights right now, crossing Highway 40 slash Interstate 64. Highland Terrace, I think, is the road I'm on. Uh, 
stop here, cars don't stop. It's okay. Climb, climb, climb. Four way intersection. Following the Sharrows. Air was in the, in the ground. Oh, telling me that the uh, road is too narrow to share. So follow the air road. They go right here. Although that was a pretty wide road. I guess not quite wide enough. It needs to be at least 14 feet wide. At least, see this road's almost uh, 14 feet, but they allow street parking, so all those stupid uh, unused machines on the road just sitting there, wasting space, make this, uh, this not a uh, usable artery for that purpose. Ten and three quarters miles, how far I've gone so far. Oh boy, my throat's dry, I need more water. Grab a little bit of water here. Ugh. Yep, pretty much out of water. I got one more squirt. And that'll be it. Sitting up the way I like to creates a big sail effect, like a boat. And when the wind's blowing in the other direction, it really slows you down. Okay, there aren't any cars behind me, I was just wondering. I don't want to hold people up. Woo! Also don't want people on my butt. 11 and one third miles. Oh, pushing against the wind's like going uphill. It's not as satisfying when you beat it though because you're not like at the top of a hill or anything. Unless you're going up a hill with the wind, I guess. All right. We 
wait for a moment here. Okay. Three, two, one. Lift off. Windy, windy, windy. Oh. Let's see, I make a right. 11.5 miles. Yui, so I wanted to go left there. Okay. And that's just what you do, you know, if you, if you miss your turn, you know, you turn at the next one or you make a Yui. You just be very careful, Yui, by, by being a U-turn, that is a turn around a 180 degrees and go the other way. <laughs> People who don't know what that is, I think we're right. Being uh, ever uh, alert to uh, the door zone on these cars, when at least three feet or arm's length, Preferably more like five feet, in my opinion, because you also want at least a couple extra feet for uh, reaction time when you get startled from a door swinging open. Or a door swinging open and someone throwing a ladder out of it. Uh. <laughs> okay, stop here, make a left. Good workout today. Good ride. 12 miles. 16.17.2 miles per hour. Ugh. I sort of heard that car coming. A good reason not to wear uh, headphones. So I moved a little bit, gave myself a little more buffer. As a uh, as a bicyclist, you are the uh, you are the at the bottom of the food chain on the uh, streets for the most part, except for pedestrians, but. Generally speaking, oh, bump. pedestrians don't walk in the street. They, ha they have sidewalks built for them. Bikes do not have trails or roads built for them. They must share with the, for the, uh, with the cars for the most part. So being at the bottom of the food chain, uh, you got to control the situation, by which I mean, uh, you gotta tell them to move over. You gotta tell them to go at intersections. Even if they don't listen to you, you gotta feel like, you're, you gotta be the one in charge, basically. Uh, so, it's not about being aggressive so much, or it's also not being about submissive. It's about being assertive. got to assert your right to be on the road and that comes with confidence but uh, you can't build confidence unless you get out there if I can do it anyone can do it Whew. 
all the rules of the road. Ride like you're a car, basically. And for the most part, people should respect you. There's a little give and take. It's just the way of life. Nothing's absolute. No law is absolute, like you must ride this way. Drivers must drive this way so much. We're all only human. So, uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.